Shalom, Jake, Shalom. Isaiah 34, verse 2. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and is free upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. <clears throat> their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down, as the leaf falleth off from the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my soul shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Ardumia, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood, it is made with fat. Forgive me, it is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord have a sacrifice in Bozra and a great slaughter in the land of Adumia. Let's get into this. Barak at the Hawa, Barak at the Hawa Shah, Barak at the Hawa, Barak at the Hawa, Barak at Call her law, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Jamas. I believe those are the prophets. Shalom is how you teach to those that teach the likewise doctrine. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwa. Shalom to the scattered Israelites across the four corners of the earth. May the most of the sun be with you during these trying times. Now, I don't know what's going on here, but, um, these bombs that they're using on Hezbollah, they're not nukes, but there's some other type of bomb that is causing real, real big explosions. And it doesn't matter who wins. We're going into these wars, okay? We're going into these wars. So let's go and let this play. Tell me how you live. Now look at the canopy of the light that went up into the sky. Okay? Now when these nukes hit, they're going to cause the sky to open up like a scroll. The reason I'm showing you this is because when you see the light flash and the flash goes up into the sky, that's how them nukes are going to hit. Except them nukes, they're going to destroy whole states, whole cities. Okay? And... Why everybody being distracted with the dealer, um, all these pictures coming out of him being with all these different people, okay? Um, just all type of badness that's going on there. These wars are intensifying. Hezbollah uh, hitting Israel, Israel has hitting Hezbollah. The Houthis are uh, still launching um, rockets at everybody. And, oh, I don't know if you guys heard. That um the um the Stevie Doors and the uh, the Merchant Marines they get ready to go on strike. Now you got these wars, you got them shutting down these different canals over in the Middle East because the Houthis are launching rockets at them. But them Stevie Doors and the Merchant Marine men and the uh, shore workers they going on strike in um a week or so, and. They go Christmas because if they don't, if, if none of your stuff, they saying it may affect a million containers a day, a million containers. If that happened, a, hey, and in 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 this situation with the dollar falling, a hey, you may have you may have a monetary crisis within a matter of weeks. It's gonna let this play again. I'm going to show you why I'm bringing this up. Tell me how you live. I'm show you a different angle. Remember this in Lebanon? Now Israel's really bombing Lebanon real bad. 
and A, it, they've been had something to do with this. Remember this? And remember, they shut down a lot of these ports now. We're going to rewind it back. On August 4, 2020, Beirut, the capital of Lebanon, was rocked by a massive explosion at its port, resulting in a calamity with wide-reaching consequences. This event left 220 people dead, hospitalized 7,000, and damaged 50,000 buildings, including nine major hospitals and 178 schools. Here's what happened on that fateful day around... Now, they're saying... <clears throat> forgive me. Remember, they're saying now... Well, the most high, what he's doing is turning up these wars. They're saying now that... They're pretty much at war with Lebanon. Remember, they're, they're bombing wherever the Hezbollah at. You know a lot of them in Lebanon now. That's where their main station's at. So, hey, they're, they're literally fighting five different wars at the same time. All right? Let's let this finish playing. 6 p.m. A major explosion at warehouse number 12 triggered a severe blast that was initially captured by a couple during their wedding photo shoot. The explosion released a massive shockwave, significantly weaker than the secondary explosion that followed. The aftermath was devastating. Buildings within 100 meters were flattened instantly, and the airport located 6 kilometers away sustained damage. Up to a 10 kilometer radius from the explosion site saw widespread destruction. The initial explosion attracted many onlookers, including hospital staff who stepped outside to see what was happening. A second even more powerful explosion then occurred at the same warehouse, sweeping through Beirut at an alarming speed. Captured by various cameras, the secondary explosion generated a huge mushroom cloud and red smoke resembling a nuclear blast. The impact was felt far and wide, devastating the heart of the city and beyond. Investigations revealed that the warehouse stored 2,750 tons of ammonium nitrate along with a significant amount of gunpowder, which contributed to the magnitude of the explosion. Sadly, the first 10 firefighters on the scene all perished. Yeah, they was suddenly beating the powder. They, 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 they literally evaporated. Actually, let me get that scripture. This is Psalms 37, verse 20. This is the Berean Standard Bible. But the wicked and the enemies of the Lord will perish like the glory of the fields. They will vanish like smoke. They will fade away. This is the NIV. But the wicked will perish, though the Lord's enemies are like the flowers of the field. They will be consumed. They will go up in smoke. And this is the NLT. But the wicked will die. The Lord's enemies are like flowers in the field. They will disappear like smoke. You see that? See Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Hey, as I say, he opening his armory now. You're seeing more bigger and bigger weapons being used. Now, off grid just put this up. They're saying that Hezbollah rockets, because remember, they found hundreds of rockets in uh, Israel right now. They're saying that their rockets are turning around in the air. Let me show you. And they, I guess they're trying to dodge the Iron Dome. And remember, Russia got, Russia got, um, Missiles that you can put nuclear uh, tips on them, and they can turn and do all that other stuff, like the Satan, the uh, Satan two missile. Now look at this. Look at that. They're turning, getting out of the way. up is remember Russia um, one of their uh, military depot bases just got destroyed let me uh, show you the clip and let me show you what's going on why everybody being distracted remember this explosion I put it up several days ago it was so big you can see the courage of the earth it's gonna play this again let me show you what's going on that nobody's um, talking about while we was all being distracted Oh, 
это вообще нормально было. Мне даже понравилось. Даже в ушах зазвенело. Согласен, по науне хуйня. Такая погода. Exodus 15, verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts have he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. Except this time they're going to be drowned in a Red Sea of um, a, a Red Sea of fire. Let's keep going. Exodus 15, verse 5. The depths have covered them. They sank into the bottom as a stone. And yeah, this time they're going to be um, sunk by that brimstone. Okay, and, and hey, these, these nukes are going to hit so hard that they're going to cause uh, earthquakes that's going to uh, measure off the Richter scale, right? Now, we know Russia going to respond. They real quiet on this. Did you know that two more, two more bases that hold um, ammunition depots? Because these are military bases. You're just not going to have ammunition uh, depots in the middle of the damn street or shopping center. No, these are these are military bases that hold ammunition. Okay? That's why they're called ammunition, am, ammunition depots. Listen to this. Nobody reported on this. So we know Russia is going to definitely respond. They may nuke Ukraine. They've been, remember, for the past couple months, they've been talking about that, that they may use one of them small tactical nukes on Ukraine. Now listen to this. Explosion rips through more Russian ammunition depots. Blast has ripped through two ammunition depots in Russia and suspected Ukrainian drone strikes. And I, I don't believe that. I believe that NATO is helping them. Ukrainian drone strikes days after a site that fuels Moscow military machine had been hit in one of the biggest attacks of the war. Without claiming direct responsibility, Ukraine has stepped up drone attacks on military facilities with attacks hitting targets deep inside of Russia. <clears throat> now remember, Russia told NATO and the U.S. do not get them long-range weapons. Well, how are they hitting deep inside Russia now? Okay, one plus one will always equal two because they're giving them the technology. That's how they can get deep inside Russia now. Newsweek has contacted the Ukrainian Defense Ministry for comment on the latest incidents. Video shared on the Astra Telegram channel purported to show explosions and the fire overnight Friday at the ammunition depot in the village of Kameni, Toroskani district in the southern Krasnodar region bordering Ukraine. And yeah, I might find a video and show you. Regional government, governor, Vin I can't pronounce these Russian names. So forgive me for that, Jake. I'm not even going to try it. I'm just going to say he's a governor, okay? Said on Telegram, Ukraine had carried out a terrorist attack in that while air defense and electronic war warfare had suppressed two drones, the falling debris of one caused the fire to spread to explosive objects which detonated. Residents of the village near the site have been evacuated, and according to preliminary information, there was no casualties. And I, I don't believe that, but that's just me. <clears throat> Kiev did not specify where the explosions occurred, but Astra said they had hit the Turkish ammunition to horse deck ammunition depot. Okay, which houses munitions from North Korea. Because remember, North Korea been selling them a lot of stuff. So yeah, let's see if we can we can uh, see this. Okay. Oh no, this the this the old one I think. Um, let's just play it and see. Yeah, this may be a different explosion. Okay. I thought it was the same one. I don't have an X account. So, um, yeah, but as you can see, yeah, somebody else will have an X account. I'll put this down in the link. You can uh, do a report on it. You may have better pictures. But, um, yeah, they're hitting these different spots now. Okay, now listen to this. There are reports that Grad S-300 and S-400 ballistic missiles and small stash of North Korean missiles were stored at the ammunition warehouse in Torapats Tav region of the Rush of Russia. So yeah, now they're hitting more of these uh, depots. So what do you think Russia going to do? Russia going to come out swinging. See, this bear is awakening. They're going to come out swinging. So yeah, 
I'm going to get a scripture and leave it there, Jake. But why everybody being distracted? Ukraine is pissing this bear off. Okay? And, hey, don't be surprised if Russia drop a, a FOAB on them or something or might use a tactical nuke. Because you didn't hear no reports on the fact that another uh, munitions uh, base got hit. Right? So I'm going to get a scripture and leave it there, Jake. This is why everybody being distracted. Okay? We watching football. Okay? We watching um, uh, Diddy go down. And now you're starting to see all these different people coming out with Diddy. Okay? And, and people running for cover, but they really they really get ready to be running for cover. Because Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, he's turning up the uh, dial on these wars. All right, so I'm going to get a few scriptures and leave it there, Jake. Jeremiah 50, verse 25. The Lord has opened his armory and had brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord, Yahweh, of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Come against her from the utmost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. Yeah, this place, Babylon, is going to be utterly destroyed. Okay, and we're, we're quickly approaching that. They're going to respond with these um, ammunition depots being destroyed like that. Slay all her bullocks. Let them go down to the slaughter. Woe unto them, for their day has come, the time of their visitation. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God, the vengeance of his temple. Yeah, and he get ready to avenge us, right? So yeah, Jake, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to show you um, the, the, um, the post one more time that these, um, these munition bases are being hit. Let me show you. Now, here's the uh, report. I'll put it down in the um, comment section or the uh, description box. Explosions ripped through more Russian ammunition depots. And this is from one day ago. Stay prayed up, Jake. The most high is going to come back as a thief in the night. We see it coming. Stay prayed up. Call her law. Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah, Shalom.